Uh, I haven't done all the permutations, but the Tigers are in now. They're in the final, so they can't go out. And that is good news for the Richmond faithful who have enjoyed a magnificent run with this great footy side. But last year would have been a little bit strange come September not being involved, but they're back in. And this man's had a sensational year, Liam Baker. He's been good enough to join us. Liam, welcome to the program. Gary, how you going, mate? Thanks for having me on. No, we're going well. I've got Nathan Buckley here. I did your game yesterday. It was um, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, there was a lot at stake, obviously, but it wasn't any great concern through the course of the afternoon. Uh, yeah, we happened. Well, it was good that we started started well, and um, yeah, got away to a to a nice lead early, and then um, big Lynchy, uh, he made sure we kept the lead. So it was good, mate. It was a good afternoon. When you see um, young fellows like Morris Rioli come through and um, and they add, uh, you know, to the energy uh, we, of a of of a team like Richmond, who are a high energy team. How how good is that for the experienced members of the group? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Morris and and Cambo and and Sons, you know, like the new faces we got in there. It's a, definitely a you know a bit of a breath of fresh air for for the for the whole group and the whole whole playing list. I'm sure the coaches are wrapped with uh, how the younger boys are going, but. Um, yeah, what Morris brought yesterday was unbelievable for us, and um, yeah, we're just wrapped to have have the new faces in there, and um, we'll be playing their first final in a couple of weeks. But we got uh, Essen next week, which will be a, a big game as well. So uh, we're excited for the next few weeks, and uh, hopefully it keeps on going after that. Hey Liam, tell us about Morris. We love watching him. Um, he, did, he looked yesterday to be as comfortable in the environment and was imposing himself, and was. Yeah, just sneaking in for the remark in front of the boys every now and then. His pressure has always been great, but is he? Is he? Have you seen him grow before your eyes? Oh yeah, his um, improvement over the last oh, two years has been like oh, in, exceptional. You know, um, he's just uh, oh, he's always had that speed and that that pressure, but he's when he's got the ball in hand, he's improved like oh, you wouldn't believe. And um, you know, even finishing off his goals, what he does, and then. Uh, he makes uh, a lot of the defenders shake when they've got the ball now, so they know Morris might be around somewhere. So <laughs> I'm glad he's on our team and um, not against us. Is he a cheeky little fellow? <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. No, he's, he's, he's a good man, mate. He's, he's nice and quiet, but, uh, yeah, he's a cheeky little fellow. <laughs> the Richmond DNA is around, you know, pressure on the opposition, raising the fight. Um, I get the feeling that going to Richmond and um, with your energy and, and natural intensity that – it's really helped you grow and develop as a player. You've played wing, you've played high back, you've played high forward. Where is your favourite position? You know, where, where do you where do you like to play your footy the most? And um, uh, and uh, do you uh, ever get in dimmer's ear about where where you want to play? Uh, mate, I don't even know where my favourite position is anymore. But um, <laughs> nah, high back is where I'm playing at the moment, so that's my favourite position, mate. Um, no, nah, it's always good. You know what it's like is the, the back six, back seven, they're a little tight-knit group. So I love being down there with uh, those boys at the moment. We have, we have a bit of a laugh. It was, it was quite funny yesterday. Um, there was a period of the game where we were just doing a lot of spectating, so I enjoyed that part of it. Yeah, well, you were you dominated the game, so that's uh, that's a really comfortable position to be in in the back half. At times, though, when you need that pressure to, to rise uh, in the front half, you've been... You've been used there. Do you um, do you carry that as a badge of honour to to drive your your group and to lead in regards to you know that that um, pressure on ball and on the opposition? Yeah, well, it, it's sort of uh, you know like a few years ago when you, that move was made. Maybe I, as a young player, you know, you sort of think, oh no, I'm I'm doing no good in the back line. Here we go. I'm they're trying to get something out of me, but um. Where it sort of changed a bit for me was that, yeah, you know, actually taking as a bit of a compliment, saying, oh, I can actually try and, you know, um, change the game a bit here. So, yeah, I do a bit. But, uh, you know, as, like, in an ideal world, uh, when we're going all right, we don't have to change too much. So, um, as the last few weeks has been, no one's really moved too much. It's been good. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, if uh, if Dimmer does make the change, then, you know, it's for... It's uh, not a personal thing. It's about, oh, we've got to get the team going better. So, yeah, I do wear, wear as a bit of a badge of honour. Hey, yeah, big Tommy was just purring. He kicked the four and the third, I reckon. So he had eight. We're sitting here thinking, oh, here's the first double figures uh, for the big fella. Eight had been his previous best, but he didn't look he's all that interested in getting to ten. I mean, did you have a little bit of fun? Were you trying to think maybe ten for him? 
Oh yeah, we were like I said when we were in the back line, we were having a bit of a laugh. Like I oh, surely he's on for ten, so I did have something to say to him after the game when he he was on eight at three quarter time, and uh, he he finished the game on eight. And I said, mate, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, but um, no, nah, he uh, everything was coming his way. He was just juking him, mate. It was uh, it was it was fun to watch, but um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe next week he can grab the ten. I don't know. You gonna get Big Dusty back? Yeah, we can't wait for Dustin to be back. Uh, uh, hopefully, well, that first final is what what we're hearing at the moment. So uh, that'll be good. He's he's going all right, does so. Um, he's you know still one of the best players in the competition. We haven't seen him too much this year, so he's going to be a great asset for. And you know what we uh, we know what he does in finals, so uh, we're wrapped to get him back in a couple of weeks. You're really good mates with Jaden Short. He's uh, had another strong year, BNF uh, player, a couple of years back, but uh, just. Seems to go from strength to strength. Yeah, it's been a bit of a um, change with Shorty this year, uh, moving into the midfield, and he's loving it. But yeah, he was uh, unreal again yesterday for us. Um, it's just a like we like we spoke about earlier, a new look team in in a way with a few new faces, and he's one of them um, going from half back to the midfield. But his consistency across the whole year and and across four quarters of a game is. He's very good. He's a very class player. So another one like, uh, yeah, we're wrapped to be having in our team. And are you sick of him uh, jumping out at you from behind a couch or around the corner? Like, are you going to get him back at some point? Oh, well, that's what everyone's saying. When are you going to get him back? But I just don't think about it, mate. He's always <laughs> like, oh, this, this is a good opportunity. I'll get him again. And it just doesn't cross me mind. But I said to him one day, maybe I have to throw a fist up and whack him one in the nose and maybe he'll stop. Do that for us. <laughs> With Liam Baker, who's a, well, he's a star now. Um, when it's all said and done, the season's over, hopefully you've got something to celebrate. Head back to the wheat, the wheat and the sheep farm in Pingering. Yeah, that's the plan, mate. Hopefully uh, we're going deep into finals and I, and I can't go for a, for a few more weeks yet, but um, as I do every year, I'll... I'll head back there and um, catch up with mum and dad and, uh, you know, run around on the farm for a bit. But, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully it's uh, a few more weeks away. Uh, I've asked you this before. How many acres you got? <laughs> uh, my, I don't have any. My old man's got uh, about uh, 10,000 he runs. Mm, small, small farm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we love you. We're big fans. Um, the footy world loves the way you go about it as well. So um, good luck, mate. It's going to be an interesting and exciting time for you in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for giving us a few mo- moments this morning. No worries, boys. Thanks for having me on. Well, Liam man. Baker there. Um, <laughs> not going to die of stress anytime no, soon. No, he isn't, is he? No, which is a good thing. Well, that, that, that's, that's a, perspective. An, a brilliant place to be, just that controlled, in bed. quiet, calm, <laughs> in yeah, bed talking to uh, us. horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you uh, just resting up and conserving all your energy for the next time you're going to tackle someone because there's no lack of that when he's uh, when he's got someone in his sights. Which, again, is why they had such a good win yesterday, is that he didn't. He was okay, but not as, you know, he's played much better games than that this year. Bolton was a little bit quiet. Jack Revolt um, barely touched the footy. So, all well, upside for them coming through. And, um, and that is good news for the Tigers.